Hello, hello. Today is holiday in Italy, which is pretty good. And considering it's holiday, we can dedicate some time to progress with the game. Well, let's see. Let me check who's there. I understand that today being in holiday and also being in the afternoon, maybe we'll have a bit less people, you know, watching us, but it's okay. Our uh, main objective is to progress with the game, sharing with you a bit of the results, ensuring that we, yeah, that we make some progress. Hello, Sway. Welcome. Hello, Soup. How are you? So, I didn't do any uh, progress until the last time um, that we they were streaming, so we will just rest restart exactly from where we left. We were working on the stats window, stats and skills window. Uh, in the meantime, I'll, I got some feedback from the rest of the team on what are the main areas that they feel we should work on for uh, uh, this new stats window. And um, yeah, and so I think we can uh, we can follow that guideline. So I can tell you what they said. So let me just take the email again. Let me take the email. Here it is. So, uh, so for skills, they like the idea to have a new window similar to the one that I was presenting the other day, right? Which is, uh, I don't know if I have the one for skills here. Uh, wow, well, I have every window except that one. Okay, let me check it. Let me take it. But anyway, is a sequence of uh, uh, special abilities, sequence of special abilities, and so a real engine skills. I think is this one. Now this magic. So it should be combat. Okay, I'm opening, I'm opening the same one, or did I save it? Okay, combat. Yeah, something like that. So to have a window that has, let's say, the specific rank, the, um, the specific rank, uh, what, what are the, the description of the ability that you are getting and the progression and such. Okay, so on this one, they agree. On the stats, uh, on the stats, they feel that it will not be that easy to find out here. Oops, to find here some good abilities that can be connected to the stats. So they said that it's probably better to uh, wait on the stats side and go more on the combat uh, and, and on the jobs. For the factions, uh, I think that they like the idea. Uh, one thing that I wanted to double check with them because they are saying that we already have a kind of a, a categorization for the factions. Uh, you know, here we have this category, this categorization, uh, this one, right? And I would like to understand exactly what they have in mind, but I think they like to have a page like this. And 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 for uh, the magic, I think also is approved. So it's something that the team likes to have uh, better ind indication on which realms you know you are uh, uh, getting access to, and having a description uh, of the major spells that you are getting for uh, for that realm. So that's also something that they like, and I think we should do um, for the jobs. For the jobs, uh, they feel that we don't have enough data yet to, to actually fill out the jobs. Uh, let me check, where is it here? We don't have enough data because the, actually the jobs are really related to the crafting of a single item or of single items and uh, there is no, mm, let's say, predefined progression as I have on screen here. 
Instead, I said, let's wait a bit. Let's wait on this one. You know, uh, for now, let's just make it a simple list, and let's wait on this one until we have uh, more uh, more clear ideas, uh, which is fine with me. So I think we can uh, we can wait on this one, right? Uh, but still, we can have a ministry. We can have, let's say, at least uh, uh, combat magic uh, done, uh, and we can probably also have stats. But for now, not really fully implemented. Right? Um, maybe not with the specific ranks. We can just have a zero to four hundred or whatever, and uh, and have a list. Uh, this could be an idea, right? So what we were doing, we were creating our uh, our widget, which now we can pop up if we press the letter N. If you see, it's popping up. For now, it has no background. I mean, it's a very simple one, but it allows us to uh, see a progress bar, click on a specific progress bar, you know, and uh, and see the descriptions as needed. So I think that is good. I just think that the progress bar itself is not calculated yet, so something that we have to do but seems to work okay also he has a scroll bar that you can uh, you can access right? and so you can see if you have really a, a lot of skills you can ask you can access those skills right so um, I think that what we can do I'm just thinking aloud at the moment but what we can do uh, is first of all to have the calculation of the percentage done properly Because at the moment it's not, and I think we should um, we should have it. <clears throat> so let me launch the uh, editor. I think we were in the middle of this calculation with the percentage, and also we could have some data populated. Now the question is if we want to have a kind of a generic table for this in the database, or we want to have it specific by specific by each uh, uh, category so stats skills factions and things like that let me just double check if anyone checked in uh, something into the repository because i always want to be up to date i don't think they did but you know no no one checked in anything so i think we are fine uh i was thinking that we could create no, to represent our uh, uh, progression, we could actually create a new table. Because, okay, let's imagine that for uh, uh, combat, so for skills and combat, we use uh, we use this thing, right? What we said here. If we use this, we need to have in the database anyway the definition of the different skills uh, at at a certain rank. Now I know we have a we have an attack type table. Let me go and check if I find it. But I think we have if we do show tables beep, I think we have uh, where is the attack definition? Attack types, yes. This table is defining our attack types. I don't think there is much in at the moment, at least in this database, in this sample database. Um, yeah, there are like skills like assassination, archery, barbaric, longbow, special. Okay, these are just dummy descriptions, but uh, he has a weapon ID, he has a weapon type, and he has. Uh, one hand and stat. Okay, so the stat that he's using, if it's one hand or not, the weapon type is a bit cryptic to me. I don't know exactly what we are using here. If it's the okay, and the weapon ID, we don't have we don't have a rank associated to this. Hmm. I think we should make a generic table because. Um, Putting it into the specific, uh, like for combat is this, but for for um, for magic will be different, right? 
So what I'm thinking, I'm thinking to create a new table which has which has let's say the rank which has the uh, category. With the category we need, uh, so we need to know which, well it's not a category, it's the skill, right? So the skill is associated to the rank and then I would say the type because we need a kind of a type. So let's try to create this new table and say it's, this is the first table that we will add only for uh, a real engine, which I'm not completely fan of. I mean, to add a new table, you know, just for a, I would like to keep it as compatible as possible with the old game. But in this case, we are kind of adding a new functionality. So I think there is no other way for us than just add, you know, then add a new table. So create table. So this table will be called uh, this table will be called something like special ability by rank or special abilities or uh, progression abilities <coughs> I think special abilities sounds okay should be a character special abilities because okay, uh, at the moment in the database we have let's say character in front of it every time uh, is related to a character uh, so for example we have character quests, character skills, character traits right? these are the ones that we are filling in for a specific character uh, when a specific character has uh, achieved for example a quest or a skill now in this case is a generic definition so I think it's a definition outside of character yes so it could be I mean it's similar to act attack types huh? similar to that but I would say it's more generic we have a table that is called skills maybe we can call it skills special abilities so that it stays, let's say, close to this one in terms of alphabetical order, and we see it. I mean, we see the, the two together because actually those are connected, right? So when we create a new, a new special ability, it will be always connected to a skill, to a skill progression. Skill being a stat or a or a job or magic, because magic is also yeah, yeah. I think we should we should call it this way. So we call it uh, uh, skill special abilities. Do we want an underscore? Do we want skill underscore special underscore abilities? Do we want uh, or, or just call it skills abilities? Maybe it's a bit, bit easier. Right? Uh, skill abilities. Skills abilities. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yes, I think it should call it should be called this way. Now, uh, what do we need to have? Well, we need to have an ID for sure. I mean, we need to have an ID, which is just our uh, our ID, uh, just an integer like the other tables. I mean, I can uh, check any other table like even the skills table I think just as a generic ID I don't remember the type but we can see it easily here like skill ID uh, it's called skill ID and is an in 10 let me check another one just to be sure that we are keeping the same idea Stances ID mm. for example stances as an int eight. <laughs> I was sure there was not was not uh, spells as an int eight. Trade container in ten in ten in ten. Everything else is in well as a mix of int ten and int eight. I don't know exactly why, but that's what it is. Okay, let's make it an int ten since the majority is integer ten. 
Let's just go with him to get 10, which I think is the default, by the way. Um, okay. So this will be uh, this will be an ID. I don't remember if we have in the other tables the fact that it is automatically updated. Let me check. Copy to clipboard. Uh, copy to clipboard. Create statement. Let me just double check. Yes, we have an auto increment on this one. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Yeah, I see. Auto increment. So this one is anyway intate, unsigned, not null, auto increment. This is what it was in the other one. Let me check this one, for example. Just because I want to be as compatible as possible with the others. This is an intent, not null, auto increment. Yes, the majority, okay, anyway. Uh, so we can have this one as a key, not null, and auto increment. I think it's fine. And this would be our ID. Then um, the next one is when the ability is actually triggering. So for us is the rank at which is triggering. Now the rank should be as designed as defined in our uh, character skill table. Right? Should be the same as this. Uh, let me check this table. Skill rank is an intent unsigned, not now. Okay, so it's, it's anyway an intent, so let's go with the same thing. Um, if I say int, is int equal to intent or not? I would like to be intent, so like exactly like the others, so we are not, I think it's the same, right? So rank uh, cannot be null for sure, and um, Cannot be a key because you can you can have multiple for each rank. Uh, it's not auto increment and as a default, uh, default should be null. So default should be null. If I put null, does it take it like this? Yes, I think it does. Yes. Um, but if I put not null. I mean, it's not allowing me to have now as, as a default, obviously. Uh, okay, can you say minus one as a default? Because we don't want this rank to be anything set not properly. Oh, we can leave the default out. Rank. So we have rank. We have ID, rank, and then what do we have? Uh, now, we can describe the special ability here, or we can describe the special ability in another table, but I think we should describe it here. It will be probably a script. Hmm, it's not very easy to know. So, I think we need the skill ID of the skill that we are connecting to. Also, I think skill ID should be before. Yeah, skill ID should be before, and here we can call it skill rank. Maybe it's better, right? Skill ID should be as we have our skills. So we said there is an intent as well. So the skill ID should also be an int ten. This one should also be not now. So skill ID and skill rank, and then now the big the big part, you know, because we need to des define our ability. Now our ability, let's say for example we said dodge, you know, so on agility you will have a new ability called dodge. Um, is this dodge defined here just with a math script? But I think that I have no other way than defining it here. Uh, 
I think I would like to have as much information as possible in this table. So there should be there should be an ability name first of all, right? And this ability name should be as long as we have for the skills, for example, for the skills we have thirty five. Mm, okay, let's say forty five is okay. Forty five characters. Uh, so we have a name. Then we may have a long description. I think it makes sense. Okay. We want to have a long description which describes exactly how. Uh, this could be text, I think. And if, if, if text, let me check the other descriptions that we have. So, for example, if we go under characters, if we go under characters and we take our character description, how do we model it? Um, description. It's just text, yes. And if I know that text is making things quite slower for uh, um, for searching and other things, uh, but we can say text. Mm -hmm. Don't like text. Text. Okay. Um, description then uh, what else do we need then we will need probably a script associated so let's say that is dodge for example let's say that is dodge we want to be able to apply uh, let's say that this ability is giving you plus 10 to dodge you know uh, or is giving you a new ability so uh, it's not very simple let's make the example of the magic so for magic we will have a uh, name which is for example realm one skill ID will be connected to crystal way uh, rank will be for example 20 description okay will be the description and then that that will be that will be it because you know we not have anything else right uh, okay so for magic I think the cons that we have are, are enough but if we take again Let's take something like combat. If we take combat, we want to add, I don't know, double hit, double axe hit at rank 20. So, in that case, it's similar to special attacks though. Or we point to these act attack types. I don't really like these attack types table, by the way. Um, or we point to this. I will make it more generic. Let me check for one second in production what we have. Okay, so if I go in production, um, I have to do it in another video, another monitor. Sorry, but in another PC actually. But if I go to our production server for a second, so which is where is it here? Uh, okay. Um, I said I'm not connecting. Why I'm not connecting to the right one? Uh, okay, I think now I am. Because you should ask me for the SSH uh, passphrase. Okay, there it is. Okay, so I'm in, so let me just check. If I do the same as I did here, so select star from attack types. I'm doing it in production just to check what we have. We have 40 attack types. Uh, they have a weapon type. Because I think that then these are connected somehow. I'm not very clear of what these are actually. Uh, 
I need Tua or I need uh, Eon Wind here. I need one of the two to help me a bit with this, but because I'm not a, a fully percent sure of what we have today in the database, I don't know if we are using this at all. Uh, but okay, I think we can. I don't think they are online. Let me just check if they are online, but I don't think so. Let's see if they are online here in uh, Discord or uh, no. If they are, if they are in IRC, mm, no. Okay, it's only us. Forever alone. Okay, so um, what we can do then we can come on my mobile. What we can do is to okay. Let's define it as we want it defined, and then we will see. So. Um, in the case of combat we will need a script to apply when the actual ability is triggered and we may also want to associate a specific key to be pressed when this ability is triggered right uh, do we also want an icon yes we also want an icon absolutely we want an icon Oh, by the way, we also want to have an icon for the rank. Hmm. I mean, the icon for the rank is a bit more tricky, though, because there is this single ability. Hmm. Understand what I mean, right? In our UI, we have the, the icon for... The specific a bit, the specific rank. Do we put it here? Do we put it in an icon rank and an icon ability? Uh, we can. It's not the best design, maybe, because we should have a. Because can you get multiple abilities for one rank? Yes, I think you can. For sure, you can. You can get multiple abilities. For one rank so or we or we make two tables one is defining ranks at which we're getting the abilities another one uh, but I don't like that personally I don't like that I think one table is enough we can put uh, we can put an icon so we can put a rank icon which will be a bit repeated but who cares and we can put a skill icon, right? Uh, these are the ones that we want to display as, and this can be as all the other icons that we have. So if I go under item stats, for example, and I look at the icon, is a varchar 200. Let's keep it the same. So. So at least we have some consistency, not a lot of consistency, but some consistency in the database. Okay, so we have the icon for the rank and the icon for the skill. Um, the description should not be null. These two things can be null. Um, the default here is just an empty... Also for the description. Um, now, what else we need? Do we want to have also the key you have to press? I don't know. This this key press seems to be a good idea at the beginning, but now that I think about it, I think we will just click on it. And if we have a menu bar like World of Warcraft, where you can just map abilities to to keys. They will be done in the specific UI position, not so, no, we don't need it here. Yeah, we don't need it here. We don't need it here. So we need only this. We need name, skill ID, rank description, rank icon, and skill icon. This is what we need, right? 
I think it's enough. I think it's enough. Now we need a way to load this stuff though. Right? So let's apply this. Let's create this table. Let me copy this in the creation statement so that we can put it. Why oh, doesn't like it? Blob text con description can have a default value. Okay. Fine. I mean, it's not a big loss. Okay, let me change upgrade schema. This one update schema, which is the one that we want uh, to list all the changes needed, right? Okay, just keeping some notes here. So it is another table that we have to add. This is a table we have to add, yes. Uh, now, we need a way to load this. I think we can do it inside our... Uh, there is a function. Uh, there is a function that loads everything at the beginning. Uh, rules function. Let me check where we can put the, the loading of this. I think we can place it game base mode. I mean, it should be part of one of the managers. Now, just trying to understand which manager is the best manager for this. So we have. Uh, I think it's inside character loader because anyway, it's stuff related to to my character, right? So it should be character loader. There should be a function here inside character loader. So we need a new structure which can be exposed to blueprints as well, which is that table, which is inside our character loader. I think that is the easiest. And it will be initialized here. It's initialized once and for all because it's at the server startup. So inside character loader, let me just check what we have. We have initialize, right? And inside initialize, inside initialize, uh, okay. What? We don't call it. I mean, it's empty. Why, uh, why is empty? Is it the same in the old uh, code as well? I'm surprised that that character loader is uh, not having an initialized function. It is because we do it for uh, each character when uh, could be. So PS character loader initialize. Yeah, yeah, it's empty also in the old code. Hmm. I was thinking this was loading some uh, no, probably not. Huh? But it's definitely related to our character. I mean, I don't want to put because I mean we could split it. No, we could split it between, uh, let's say, spells, and so we have our uh, our uh, our manager for that. So, for example, where do we load? Where do we load spells? Do you remember where we load the spells? Is inside uh, uh, because we don't have a spell manager. We have a user manager. Where are we loading? Where are we loading spells? Let 
We don't have an initialized. Uh, select star from spells. I mean, somewhere we should do it in the code, right? Unless I didn't port it yet. Well, we should have a select star from spell. Oh, here it is. Ah, it's in cache manager. Ah, okay. Well, that's another place where we could do it inside cache manager. Cache manager is our. Uh, yeah, it's keeping all our rules. It's keeping. Uh, I think we can do it here. Let's do it in cache manager then, maybe it's easier. Because this place, this cache manager is having already a lot of the rules stuff loaded. If I show you uh, the initialize, it's pretty big. Uh, the initialize, preloaded tags. A lot of tech types. You see, I mean, I don't remember exactly where this is called from. Maybe from the constructor. Yeah, there it is. You see, preload all. There is a preload all, which is loading all of this skills, limitation, character, blah 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 blah. All of this. So maybe we could have it. Yeah, the best is to have it here. And so we create a new function which we just called uh, preload skill abilities. Preload skills abilities, and we're going to add this one. We're going to add this one also to our cache manager here. Um, cache manager next to the one that we have for skills. So preload skills. Okay, so we have another one here which is called preload skill abilities. Yes, it's just a bool is uh, boolean and it's taking this. And then come on. And then here we will define our preload skill abilities, which we can put next to this one. How did I name this stream? Uh, yes, I named this skill window with database data, so it's not too far from what uh, we are doing, so I think it's fine. IntelliSense. IntelliSense, please. Okay. So we will have, just after this, uh, another one which is very similar. Oh, we can probably copy the world function. We'll probably copy the world function. And just rename it to preload skills and then we change what we need so it's probably easier so in this case will be select star from uh, our table we call the skills abilities so we'll select everything from there and Now, are you getting the abilities automatically when you reach the specific rank, or do we also need to have a flag for the fact if you learned it or not? Because maybe you have the rank, but you don't get the ability automatically. Maybe you have to go to a trainer or to some NPC, speak with the NPC, and learn the ability, right? I think it makes sense. I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, but this means that our window then will be slightly different. Because like if I have here the list of my like rank 5 dodge, you know, like this one. Rank 5 dodge. Uh, if you don't, if you didn't learn it yet, it should be flagged somehow. Yeah, but I think it's okay. We can have it in this in this window. We can have if it's learned but not learned, the other one that you can learn and such. Right? Yeah, I think it's fine. Don't don't let's not overdo it. Okay, if you overdo it, we will never finish it. That's my that's my idea. So uh, I think that learn not learn I think is a good field. So we should add it here. So we should add as something that is like learned. And it's just a boolean, yes or no. So it should be an int uh, one, whatever. 
mint one. So this one is one of zero, okay? And the default is zero. It's not learned, okay? Okay. Let's apply this. Let me just copy back the. Um, create statement so we can update our guide here to be sure that is exactly as okay good um, now now we want to select star from skills ability now we need to put this into a structure uh, similar to the one that we have for the skills but in this case will be done for the ability so we have skill info I think it should do, do, do nearly the same. I mean, it should be nearly identical. Um, so here I'm creating a new skill info, okay, and then where I'm placing this new skill is into a hash. Why I'm using a hash? Skill info ID hash, skill info name hash, skill info our category hash. Wow, because for searching capabilities, I want to be able to search by ID, name, or category in a very quick way. So this is where we did it. Hmm. Interesting concept, but I don't think we need that. Um, so we need... Because our cache manager, the main point of our cache manager is to find data quickly. Right? That's the main point of our cache manager. So if we go, where do we have this? Uh, where do we have this skill info? Uh, I don't see members here. Okay, I don't see members. I see only functions. Wow, cash manager is a lot of stuff, boys. Skill info is here, right? And skill info itself is defined inside ps skills.h. Maybe we can extend ps skills.h to have also this new ability. Mm -hmm. I think we should. We should extend this and have a new class which is called. Uh, should be a class or should be just a struct? I don't know, let's make it a class. Let's make it exactly like his skills now. So this one will be PS skill ability. I mean info, I don't know why info. Uh, PS skill ability. So this will be something like this. And this we don't need at all. And we will have uh, our ID, well, our ID actually will be just an int. So I think we need an int ID. Then we need uh, our name, right, which we have here. Perfect. Then we have our skill ID, which can be definitely a piece, PS skill. Then we have our skill rank. Uh, for skill rank, I would like to use the same as we do for our player. So I think it should be an integer anyway. Skill rank is just a, yeah, just an int, I think. So we call it skill rank. Then we have what? Then we have description, which is actually text, so it can be an F string description. There it is. We have it already. Then we have rank icon and skill icon. Uh, these are also two different F strings. Rank icon and skill icon. Uh, then we have what? Then we have learned, which is just a boolean. You can make it a boolean here. Okay. Now I don't know if I want to have cost. I mean. There may be more in the future, maybe like there will be cost or stuff like this, but at the moment it's really not needed for us. 
Um, okay. So this will be our uh, our class. I don't know why it says that B is undefined. Does it mean that B is undefined? No idea. So this is defined inside the PS skills and it's just a kind of a structure. Right? It's just a structure. Uh, in terms of constructor, let me see. Do we have a constructor for our PS skill info? Let me check. Maybe we're just initializing everything to zero and that's it. But we could do it. Uh, yeah, so we're just initializing everything like this. With the default price, default category. I mean, okay. I mean, we can do this with our PS skill ability. Right, we can initialize it, and in this case, I think ID will be zero. Our skill ID uh, will be this, our skill ID will be this, and then we have our skill rank will be zero. And then we will have some other stuff like description. We said, uh, sorry, also name. Name will be empty. Description will be empty. And what else? Rank icon, rank skill, rank icon will be empty. Rank skill. Will be empty and no, sorry, not thank skill. Skill icon, skill icon will be empty, and then we will have the boolean learned, which we just set to false as a default. So, okay, fine. I think it should just be something like this. And the destructor for now does nothing, so we don't need any specific destructor code. Okay. Okay, so we added this thing. We added this thing, uh, which we can then use inside our cache manager. Our cache manager should have should have a class dedicated to, I think it should be a tmap. Um, even if you already have our int, we wanna, do we want a tmap of this as well? I mean, we need a container anyway, because the skills are many, so. Uh, we need anyway a container. We will search this structure we will search this structure mainly by skill because we would like to know all the items that are in a particular skill in a particular rank yes this is, this is where we will search our um, so we will filter all the elements that are of a specific skill and rank right right um, but anyway, to me a tmap is fine. I mean, it's an array for us. Maybe you can have a tarray. Why we need a tmap? I mean, this was for easy searching. Tmap is faster than a tarray yeah? for uh, creation, I think, and for searching, mainly for searching. So a tmap is faster. Yeah, let's make a tmap of um, tmap int where int is what um, I 
I think we can search by skill. For sure by skill. Oh, we combine skill and rank. You know, and we do it very dirty from the spaghetti code point of view. <laughs> but it's much faster to search because we will always search skill and rank. Well, we will, we will search skill and then all the ranks inside of it. Mm, yeah, skill. Well, we will search. So this one I think should be skill ability ID uh, skill Ash. Right? I mean, if you want to do it similar to what we did above, we are basically putting into the key our skill ID. So we extract automatically all the ones that have a specific skill. I think is a probably better idea, right? Okay. So this one is new. This one is new. It didn't exist in the old code. So we are starting to fork. We are starting to fork the old code. Oh my god! Are you scared about that? Are you scared about this? No, why is white? We are forking our code. You know? GG. I think we are starting to fork our code, so we have to understand, we have to be very careful now, very careful. Forks are good for spaghetti. That's very true. That's very, very true. So in reality, there is a connection, you know, between our uh, our fork and our uh, spaghetti code. So there is definitely a connection. Mm, good point. Good point. So uh, so we had this thing. Okay. So we had this thing. Uh, now we need to load it up. We need to load it up, right? I want to load this. I need. I want to load this. Then what I want to do? I want to populate some of the data, and I want to display it on my on my screen, right? Uh, in Unreal. So this is the purpose of all the things that we are doing here, right? This is the whole purpose. Now we will also need to be able to use it in game, but this is, I think will be the next step. But like for magic would be easy, so I, would put, I think we can start to do magic. Magic is uh, just, uh, let's say, super easy because it's just a placeholder actually. So we can just, okay, so let's do this. Let's put, uh, because if the rules, the rules are changing and we need magic to be done like every 30 or 50, yeah, we will change this table. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, so <clears throat> we added this. Now in our preload, uh, whatever, maybe which we were editing before, preload skills ability, you say? Very nice. Uh, we have to load, select start from skills ability. Nice. We need to new, do a new skill ability instead of new skill info. It is the power of copy paste. Huh? Um, could not cache database table check skills abilities. Um, now here is a bit different though, and eh? because here is searching for if not. Result current row skill ID is empty. I mean, okay. I mean, for sure it's not empty, but okay, let, let's keep this check. Fine with me. Fine with me. Uh, so we are loading new skill ID. Into uh, it's not correct. So we, we have to load the proper thing. So uh, ID goes into ID, then name goes into name, 
then skill id goes into skill id uh, converting to a ps skill okay fine who cares then uh, skill rank then skill rank goes into skill rank I mean, it's not very, you know, it's not very complex. Um, then we have <coughs> description, which goes into description, right? And then we have rank icon. I can just copy paste it from here. Rank icon, which goes into rank icon. Nice. And then we have skill icon, which goes into skill icon. The only problem is that I did get int everywhere, but it's not get int. In certain cases, is get something else. The description should be without get int. Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, current row. What is it? Uh, just with brackets, okay. Just with brackets, boom, brackets, boom. So description is like this. Icons are like this. And the rest are int. Okay, nice. Uh, what do we miss? We miss learned. Mm, learned is a boolean. Learn that we should do if this thing equals to one learned if this thing equals to one then true else false right okay uh, and then what else so we have all the all the all the fields loaded up fine then what was this guy doing here? If type result category stats category skill stats category blah 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 no 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 all of this we don't need so we can remove it. Uh, cost we don't need well there was a script associated at the moment we don't have we don't have a script associated so we, we kept it pretty simple for now kept it pretty simple. Um, yeah, then we need our skill info, skill ability, how do we call it? We called it skill ability, skill HID, very clear name. No, I think it's, it's a good name. And we add uh, order by skill ID, because this is what we want. We want to order by skill ID, we add this new skill. Right? And I don't think we will search by name, so I think it's fine that we do it like is a team app multi value because we need a multi value team app huh? I mean I need this thing to be multi value right I remember we had a thing about team apps If you need multiple values for the same key, there is a T multi map. Uh huh. Uh huh. I remember that. Okay. So we need this because in our case, in our case, we have a multi map. Uh, so we need to use we need to use multi map. Multi map. I hope he likes it. Why doesn't like my equal? Ah, uh, because it is an app string. Very true. Very true. You like it like this? I think you would like it. Okay, so we have our. Uh, so we, we load it up. Okay? So we can say skills abilities loaded. Okay. Uh, 
So we load, we preload all of this, right? Nice. Now we need some data into the database. Otherwise, we don't have some data. Hmm, not very good. So let me check. Uh, we can add the magic data. Let's add the magic data first. So the magic data, if I take skills and I do a select uh, 1 million rows, I see that my, my uh, skills or magic, you haven't had spaghetti in a while. I had it, uh, I had it yesterday at lunch, I think. Or yesterday evening. Uh, I don't know. Yesterday at lunch, I think. You sure the spaghetti are very nice. Very nice spaghetti. Uh, number five. You should take spaghetti number five. So, crystal, azure, blue, red, brown, and dark. Uh, okay, so these are our skills, right? So we want to have. We want to populate some data into this table. Okay, so we want to have for Crystal Way, which is 11. Uh, so let's go and populate some of this. Let's go and populate some of this. Uh, skills, abilities. So 11, 12, okay, 11. starting from 11. So starting from 11, we put a new name. Uh, the name is Crystal way realm one skill id is 11 uh, skill rank uh, i don't know here's the first question um i think you get real one already at rank zero right so in theory is not applicable to the real one, it starts from real two, right? So I should real one. I should not place it in this table. Real one, we we we, we got it automatically, so it's not a special ability, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a standard ability. While real two is a special ability. Okay, okay, and we can say here is. Uh, uh, the power of the crystal flows in you like in no others. No, it's too much. This is this we should keep it for a uh, realm five. Okay. And anyway, like in no others, you can now tap. You can now tap into the crystal to create shards of ice. I don't know, just a freaking okay. guy. There is a there is an example. Then we will figure out what we want to do with these descriptions. But uh, uh, my idea is that they should give you a bit of a sense of which kind of spells. So the icon is nothing. The skill icon is nothing. The ability is learned. Uh, for now, we say we say one just as an example. Oh my god, why I place learned here, guys? Why are you not listening to me? Makes no sense to place it here. This should be on the character, not on the freaking definition table. Why we place learned here? Why, 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 why? We can say to be learned, or I mean, if, if this one need, requires to be learned, this, this, this freaking parameter has no meaning. There is the definition table, it's not the character abilities thingy. Crap, we did a big mistake. Big mistakes were made. There was an error in the database. You see, even the database knows that we made a mistake. Field ID doesn't have a default value. Man, ID is auto increment. Why don't why don't incrementing this automatically? Okay, I give you one, but just for this time, huh? Okay. Um Okay, we did we did something stupid because actually, actually, yeah, we cannot have learned in this table. Mm -hmm. Why 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 don't check why don't check when I when I do these such mistakes? Okay, fine. We we removed learned. Okay, learned doesn't exist. You never seen it. It doesn't exist from here. 
it doesn't exist here, it doesn't exist here, it doesn't exist here or here. Okay, learned, gone. Learned, what is it? Learned, gone. Right? Completely gone. Uh, okay, good. We removed it. Fine. We removed it. Now we have to remove it also from our uh, description here. Huh? Learned, gone. Okay, so this is the definition table. It's not the one that the character has. It's the, it's the, it's the definition, my friends. You understand? Hello, whoever joined. Welcome to the stream. We are making some spaghetti code and uh, improving it with forks. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We are making some um, some code for our uh, skills and stats table. Okay, so we added this. We have all our fields loaded up, right? And we were making some data. We were entering some data just for fun to see which data. Yeah, right. Okay, so one we did. Then I want, uh, yeah, for magic is very simple. Crystal Way Realm 3, Crystal Way Realm 4, Crystal Way Realm 5. We can arrive up to 5, right? And then we would do the brown and red and green and whatever later on. Green doesn't exist. Okay, fine. So this will be all skill ID, and this will be 40, 60, 80, and then someone that is smarter than me in settings and rules will define the right description. Uh, so you reach the third, the third magical crystal something, and your life will be life will now be more snowballing okay uh, then real four whatever another description do you have another, a, a random this a random description i can type in here please invent it and then we will have someone else do it um why still have the learned in this this thing There was an error in the database, for sure. Skill ID doesn't have a default value. What do you mean? Uh, this one? No, no, no. This line doesn't exist. This line doesn't exist, my friends. Description doesn't have a default value. Man, just put some random stuff. Okay. Now it will tell me, oh, learned, but how, how did he insert without the learned? Okay. I mean, I removed the learn ah, because I didn't apply. Ah, I'm so smart. I did apply? I think I did apply, by the way. Okay. It works. Uh, so, Realm 4, do you have any description I can put in for Crystal Way Realm 4? I don't know. Uh, now you can split the waters. You're gonna split the water and eat fishes. Perfectly. Now, realm 5, you reach the maximum power in crystal. Okay, someone will, will, will generate good descriptions. Now, we need, we need to do the same in theory also for all the other ways, right? Because we will need to have, we will need to have uh, crystal way, brown way, whatever way, you know, all the six. We need to have all the six ways loaded in. Which we said, where did we find them? Yeah. So next one is Azure way, right? Azure way, blue way. Can we generate this automatically? I think we should. I mean, at least for now. I don't want to copy. I don't want to type stuff here. Can I just? Can I just put it from an Excel file? 
By the way, why ID doesn't auto increment if it's auto increment? No idea. But anyway, it will be Azure Way Realm 1. No, Realm 2. And the ability will be 12. And it will be exactly the same as all the one above. So 20. Okay, for now we just say Azure 2 as a description. I know it sucks, I know, but we cannot do much more for now. Okay, we are short on uh, macaroni, we have too many spaghettis, and we have this problem. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 80, Azure 3, Azure 4, it's pretty quick anyway. Azure 5, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so the next one after Azure, what is it? After Azure is, after Azure is blue, which is 13. So we can have blue way real, ah, typing in the wrong place. Blue way realm one, no two, always two, my friends. Uh, so three, come on, you can do it. Three, four, and five. There is 13 everywhere. Now, at the moment, all of them have the same progression, okay? So they have 20, 40, 60, 80. Now in the future we may, we may we may change it, but for now it's okay to have it like this. Three, four, ouch, four and five. Then after blue, we have to do it for six. I'm sorry, you have to you have to do you have to yeah you have to wait a bit. So red way realm two, three, four, five, three. Four, five, but like a monkey, I'm improving. So you will see me going faster and faster and doing more and more arrows like I just did. Fuck it. I am four, fourteen, fourteen. So this is twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. And it is red two, red three. I don't know if it's quicker to type. No, probably it's quicker like this. Four and five. Then after red, what do we have? After red we have brown and then we have dark. So this would be brown. Come on, type here. Brown way realm two. Three, four, and five. That is fifteen. And that is twenty, forty, sixty, eighteen. And it is brown two, brown three, four, and five. Three, four, and five. Okay, okay. Let's do apply because I don't want to lose this because I already entered the million. Okay. Now, last one. We did it, boys. We did it. 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 It's nearly done. Nearly done. Don't worry. Real two, three, four, and five. Okay. Three, four, and five. And there is sixteen, 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 sixteen. 20, 40, 50, 60, 18. And here is dark 2, dark 3, dark 4, dark 5, dark 3. Okay. Okay, so we have some dummy data, at least. Then someone else will make the real data. Even if for crystal, for, uh, for the magic ways, I think it's exactly like this, right? I think it's exactly like this. Hello, Sago. Is Sago or Sacco? Looks more sacco. Hey, it's going good. It's going good. We are making progress. Um, making progress. We we need some help. So if you want to help, anyone wants to help, please join. Because there is so much to do. I don't know if I can do it all by myself, but uh, it's what I'm doing. It's what I'm doing. So if you want to help, just join. We can do it together. It's a fun thing. Making an MMO. You can put it on your CV. Saying, hey, I made an MMO. I read it. Yeah. So um, we why 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 did this two 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 two? Why are you not telling me? This is two 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 is wrong. It should be two three four and five. 
right? Should double check what I'm doing. Double check, boys. Okay, so that is correct. Now we are loading this data in our cache manager. Fine. Now what should we do? Now when we are where we are opening up this window, we're getting close, huh? We're getting close to see something. Uh, when we are opening that window, which in our case is called um, is called W window skills and stats, this window, yes, 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 yes. When we are opening this window, at the moment let's just load the magic, okay? Let's not load anything else. Let's just load the magic, and that's it. So to load the magic, what do we do? We we have a, an event construct which is just populating dummy data. But in this case, we don't like dummy data. We want to have real data. So to have real data, when this window is constructing itself, we should call a server thing that gives the output all of that. Yes. Exactly. So... So what is the server function we want to call? Uh, the server function we want to call should be as usual inside inside our player controller. Yes. Should be similar to, for example, should be similar to, for example, um, when we get a quest info or any other any other one, so all of these are good. Uh, check name on handle, get live, get this, get whatever, get quest list, get quest link. Yeah, something like that, right? Something like that. Um, mm, One thing that I'm not, not fully sure of is if we can actually call a server method like this. I oh, know we do it asynchronously, right? We call the server first asynchronously. Then, yeah, as usual, as usual. We have to do it as usual. Why I'm asking these questions? We have to do exactly like we did it up to today. So here we will have here we will have a new function client request uh, request what request skills start and skill uh, no we call it skills ability skills abilities data right this is under character and this function will be called what what will be called this will return void though. Uh, this will be called receive skills abilities and that's it now I want to make this generic though I don't want to make it I don't want to make it per I mean I don't want to have one method for each window right I want to have one method that is just returning whatever I need um, yes Yes, so I want to pass in what I want to pass in. I want to pass in the skill, the category. Oh my god, I think we missed one parameter which is the category. Because actually, we are forking our code GG, maybe. Um, actually, we want to populate a full window, right? Full window being something like this. I mean the full window we want to populate. So for magic, uh, let's do go, let's check magic if you want, want to populate. We want to populate magic, which is this one, right? So, so we want to populate a full window, meaning oops, meaning that we need also the category of this, right? We need the category. The category would be this this thing on top, magic, combat, factions, no, but anyway, stats, jobs, values. So we need the category. We missed the category, boys. Why we missed it? 
We need a category. Okay, okay. So it's not a big issue. We can add we can add category here and can we derive it by skill? Well in theory we could do it from the skills, huh? Because we know that that category is from skill eleven to skill sixteen. What if our window is smart and knows this? And just ask to the server the right the right skills. I think it's a very bad idea because the server should always be the the master of the information. So I think it's a very stupid idea. Exactly. So we need a category. We need a category, boys, and we need it added right now and right here. Right here and right now. Unfortunately, I cannot play music because otherwise YouTube will uh, will. Uh, will uh, cl close the stream or do something bad but right here right now is a good um, is a good um, CD anyway so um, what do we do we add a category huh? we add a category where before the ID yes before the ID so we have a category no, 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 after the ID. So we have name, skill ID, name of our ability, and then a category of our ability. Right. Okay, let's do this. I have to change a few things, but it's okay. So we add a new field, which is called category. Category ID, I mean, do, do, what, yeah, I think it should be just category ID, like one, two, three, four, five, right? We want to have a category name as well? No, I don't think we need it. I mean, it's better if it's an enumeration, and enumeration is, I think for now, category ID is okay. Category ID. Category ID will be an int 10, actually, it will be just an int 1, an int, an int whatever. So, well, okay, int 10 is fine. Um, not now, because we need it absolutely. And the default, I don't know, the default uh, we can avoid it. The category will go here after name, right? So it will be name, category ID. Okay, okay. It is a bit better. Can we apply it? Yes, we can apply it. Can we copy the creation statement? Yes, we can. Can we put it here? Yes, we can. Now. We have to change our code slightly, but it's just one field, so it's not it's not a lot of work. I mean it's just 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 a small thing. Just a small thing. Uh, after name we have an, a new int which we call category ID. And in our PS skills we have to be sure to initialize it. Category category ID, which would be initialized to I don't know, minus one. So we don't, yeah, we don't have problems with uh, wrong values. So minus one is actually invalid, uh, which is okay. Um, why is saying the skill ability is not invalid? No. Um, then what? Then we need to change our cache manager. When he's reading all of this. We will read after the name the category, which is actually an int. So we copy this line and we go category ID, category ID, category ID. Nice. So now we have the category. Do we want to have? Do we want to have? Do we want to have the hash map, the T, the T map extracted by? Category because when I mean the first call I will do will be give me all the skills and ability in category one, right? And that would be much more powerful. And then inside category one, I will get what I will get an array of this thing. Yes, we get an array of this thing, and I will move it to the client. And then on the client, I would just uh, cycle through all the objects. Uh, assuming they are properly ordered, well, actually we can put it ordered in the right way, so it's even easier, and we don't have even to search into the array, we just uh, go through the array, 
and we extract whatever we want. Yes, I think that would be the best. So we don't even uh, we don't even need to search through the array. We just uh, execute it in sequence, which is perfect. Okay, yes. So our our ID will not be skill ID anymore. It will be category ID, which I think is a better idea, right? So this will be ordered by uh, this thing. We don't need. Okay, we will order by category. So now, going back in our PlanShift controller, what we need to do, we need this thing, and this one has to take as a parameter our category ID. So this will be an int category ID. Uh, and based on the screen, okay, it's a bit hard coded because we will decide, say, we can make an enumeration if you really feel bad about the hard coding of this, but. We can also do it later. We could make an enumeration with all the categories named something, you know, but um, who cares? We will know it, right? So we have this one, and this one will be called uh, on our uh, blueprint here. Uh, so we request, then after we requested, we want to have a response. So we will need we will need an implementable event uh, that gets our response, right? Absolutely. We need an implementable event like uh, like this one, you know, exactly like this. So this will be this will be here. Uh, blueprint implementable event will be still inside character. And it will be receive. Why is always receive though? Our naming convention is not really great. Um, so the receive is when I get back the okay. Yeah, but I don't want to have, exactly, I don't want to have uh, receive on the first one. I think the first one should not be receive. The first one should be, should be request. You know, why, why not request? Requ just request. Requ request skill abilities. We are always taking the point of view of the client. Okay? So the client is requesting skill ability. The client is receiving the chat message. Okay, fine. The, sorry, not the chat message. The skill abilities. Okay? Is receiving the skill abilities now. Uh, what is the result of this? Uh, very good question. The result of this for us will be uh, an array, a T array. The only problem is that the T array will be made of objects, will be a T array of right something that unfortunately we need to convert to a real. I mean, unfortunately. We have to convert to a real because otherwise it will not pass through this. It will not pass through this. So I think I think that what we declared uh, should be similar to this one, for example. Right? Exactly like this one. So it should be a U struct. Now can I place a U struct inside something that is not a U object? I think the answer is no, unfortunately. Hmm. So if I if I go inside my PS skill <coughs> and I just put U struct here, it will not work, right? If I make this one a struct, it will not work, huh? It is a problem though, because uh, I would like that function, I mean this definition to stay inside my PS skills uh, section. But I think this one will not work. If I change it to a struct, maybe struct works, um, but I don't think so. I will have my generated body, I will have my thingy, and I will have my U property. And every one of the, I will not have a construction anymore. I think I have to change this a bit, you know, because uh, if I do it like this, I think it's better because I can pass it in directly as a parameter. 
think there is no other way though. If I don't do it this way, I don't think it will work. I don't think it will work. So I think I need to do it this way. Or we move this structure into PS character, but I'm uh, a bit annoyed of doing that. I mean, I don't want to do that. Uh, is PS skill going to work? Uh, PS skill, is PS skill going to work? Because it's not, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, you, you, you something, huh? Or we just pass an int, or we have to make PS skill enumeration as well. Is PS skill enumeration already? I think PS skill is just, uh, it's just an integer. I don't think the PS kill is defined today as an, a real object. Hello, Tua. I'm moving on with the. I'm moving on with the stats and skills window. Okay, PS kill is an enumeration, but it's not. Is not uh, what is this thing, by the way? This thing cannot work as it is. What is this thing? I mean. We have also the PS skill category. Hmm. So these are already enumerations, so they're probably working properly. Uh, server side, but I don't know why we still have this PS skill like this, because PS skill is completely dynamic. Uh, it's loaded from the database, so why we have something like this? Why we have this enumeration? And why we have this enumeration in the old code makes no sense. Do we need to define a minimum set and then we expand it? But I don't know, it seems that I mean, whenever we try to cast it to one of this, it will fail. Because where are all the others? Like all the, you know, what are all the others? Did I cut it off, or is it really like this also in the old code? Be surprised. Uh, PS skill. I'm very surprised by this. What is PS skill defined, by the way? PS skill is under uh, bulk objects. Okay, yes. Under bulk objects, should be here. Yeah, <laughs> you see, you see this line used for testing the degree of our coding of skills. I mean, yes, I mean, there is not, uh, this should not be used anymore. Why we are still casting stuff to PS skill? I mean, we should not cast anything to this. Are we still doing it though? We're still doing it in so many places. How, how can this work? We are doing it everywhere. I mean, if you cannot map it to a specific PS skill, it's just... Uh, I don't understand. It's just returning an int. 
And he should give an error in casting, no? Should give an error when he's casting if, if the value is out of the range of the enumeration. Um, anyway. I mean, if it works, we can leave it as it is, but I'm a bit surprised. So basically, uh, or we make, or we make, so this thing I think we should not use at all. Uh, the point is, if I put this as a use struct, right, and this one I made an int, because I don't want to see this PS skill. Uh, if this one we make a use struct, then this, this thing has to become, I don't think I can just, I can just save it like that. I can try, but I don't think this will compile. I don't think it will compile. I think it will complain. Let me try. Because I think it has to be inside a U object, like we have in player controller, we have the definition of our, uh, but we also have messages, let me check, because in messages we have a lot of, like here in messages, this is not a U object, right? Eh? Uh, this is not a U object, and we have a lot of this, so it may work, what we have is, uh, we just need to have the message generate, just the generated line. I think the PS Unreal and the generated inside the dot H. Okay, but then we can do easy. Generated should be the last of the includes. And so it will be PS skills dot generated dot H. Then inside the CPP. I don't know if we need anything inside the CPP. Let's try to compile it like this and see. Because having a structure would be my having a, a real structure would be much more powerful because it means that then in the uh, blueprint we will have the break of the structure done automatically for us, and we will be able to expand it and use all the thingies. Is saying use struct inside this preprocessor block will be skipped. I mean, you should not skip it. Why you want to skip it? They copy everything properly. Use struct, use struct, generated body, blah blah blah. Yes, this is what it is, and this is what I have in my. Why says that he will skip this? Cannot open source file PS skills to generate it .h. Well, um, maybe there are other errors preventing it to compile. Let's go on. Uh, TRA, ah, yes, yes. In this case, it should be a TRA of my. Maybe there are other errors that are preventing it. Eh? So it should be a TRA of my PS skill ability. Come on. Okay. This one is not implemented at the moment, but it's fine. Probably if there are more errors, it's not. No, but it's not. Compiling anywhere. Why saying this? You struct inside this preprocessor block will be skipped. Any idea why saying this? Uh... Ah, wait, 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 wait. I need to name it properly. I need to name it. F something. If I don't name it F something, it will not work. Because if he has, yeah, because everything that is, uh, okay. So should we call it F skillability? I don't think that Unreal has any F skillability thing here. Eh? So let's call it F skillability. 
and so this guy will be more happy uh, this will be F skill ability the only thing that we have to do now is inside our cache manager it will be a bit different because uh, uh, it will be a T multi map T map whatever uh, pointer to Mm, yes. Yes, I think it's fine. And then we Okay. I think it was not recognizing the struct as a not real struct because it was not named F No, I'm still giving the same error. Why doesn't like it now? It's exactly like this one. I don't have my PS Unreal. I don't have my PS Unreal include. I don't have my PS Unreal include. That's why. Okay, okay. Fine. Hello. I see someone joined. Welcome. Ah, why is still not liking it? Is the pragma ones the problem? Because I think I've seen this already a few other times where you have the specific definition which is not a pragma ones and it doesn't like it. And it doesn't like it, so maybe with the pragma ones and the real dot h, we should be fine. Really identical to the other class, though. So. Yeah, it seems he's working, he's thinking a bit more. Seems that the compilation is going a bit further. Yeah, yeah, it's going a bit further. You generated the code, so now we should generate it also the um, this file, I think, the PS skill generated dot h is now compiling it. Hello, whoever joined, welcome. If you if you want to chat, just uh, register a Google account and you can uh, and you can chat here on YouTube. I want to keep the stream as interactive as possible, so I uh, will appreciate if you just say hello or something in the chat. We are waiting at the moment the compilation of this. We added uh, two new well, one new class, one new struct, and two new methods to actually load the stats and skills from the database. To our client uh, to populate one of our windows where we have the, the UI for uh, for the skills and stats. So what we are doing now is just to wait the compilation. Okay, it's finished. Uh, no declaration or storage. Uh, I think now. Okay, this we don't need anymore. I think it's getting, yeah, yeah, I think it's getting some errors because I had the double constructor, so I removed it now. Because I think the constructor are generated automatically by Unreal. Okay, I think it went through. Now, the only problem is that we are missing the definition of two functions, which, uh, yes, I know that they are missing, so it's fine. I think we went through the, the first round of compilation, which is okay. Interactive.
Yes, let's keep it interactive. Um, so, what I wanted to say, what I wanted to say, ah yes, it said player controller, these two functions need an implementation now, which is fine. Uh, one actually doesn't, because the receive skill ability is an implementable event in the blueprint. In fact, you see, it's not giving an error on that, but it's giving an error on the previous one, which is this, which is actually the request of the uh, skill abilities. Okay, fine. So, what we do, we implement this one. Uh, we are inside player controller. Yes. So inside our player controller CPP, we create a new function, which is this one. We implement it, uh, is inside this class. It takes as a parameter our category ID. And now we just have to call our cache manager, I guess. Uh, our cache manager. IntelliSense is just leaping. A stupid sense, not intelligence. Intelligence. Um, but anyway, in our cache manager, we need to call. Uh, we need to get. So we need a get function, I guess, right? Because at the moment we have the. We have our skill data. It takes forever. We can do it. We have our skill data um, hash. On that skill that I hash, we just want to return all the keys of the multi-map that are... Uh... Ah, one thing though. The de those will not be ordered by... Ah, that's a problem. That's a big problem or is it a small problem? Eh, I don't know. So here we have our skill map, our skill stat thing is, how do we call it? PS skill something, skill something. Uh, no, we have, wait, 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 wait. We have it, we will place it in cash manager, no? The skill ability, ah, because it's probably private. Okay, let's make a let's make a function that extract this thing. Okay, which makes sense um, because in reality, I think also for the skills we had the same uh, the same thing. It was this one was private, and then we were getting we have a method to read yeah like get skill amount to see get skill by ID yeah things like that. Okay. So I think we need to make the only thing I, I'm reasoning at the moment is that now our multi map has the items which will pop up in a way that is not ordered because by default multi map is not ordered and uh, this make this is bothering me a bit. Because I was planning to read all the all the things ordered by ordered by skill ID and rank. Hmm. So basically, that in our select, I'm, 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 I will tell you what I wanted to do. So that basically here, instead of doing select from skill abilities, we will do select from skill abilities, order by, and then we will order by, um, by skill ID first, and skill rank next. So doing it like this, we will have them already perfectly ordered for us when extracted from the database. The only issue I have is that then we put it into this multi-map, and this multi-map is fucking up my order. For sure, I mean I'm sure, 100%. So... 
or do we use the multi map only for the categories? And then we have an array of that, or we use five arrays, one for each, maybe five arrays is not too bad either. It's a bit, it's a bit hard coded, but uh, I mean, because we could use one array for each of the things, right? For, uh, hello Ricardo, welcome. Uh, we we can I mean extracting them on the client side in order of skill and rank is super is super good you know because we will we will just have to read the array and for each line of the array we will just be able to to print out all the different ranks because what we need to do wait a second let me think about it a bit better huh? we will get our data which is by skill order by skill yeah the fact is order by skill ID doesn't mean that is the, the order we want because maybe we want to order them alphabetically yeah, it could be or we want to order them differently than the skill, right? The skill, yeah, maybe. So that's not even a that's not even a prerequisite actually to have it to have it ordered by. Mm -hmm. So we have to re maybe we have to reorder anyway, you know? Maybe we have to reorder anyway when you are on the client side. We take all this data. And we reorder it because maybe in the future we will decide if we want it alphabetically or whatever. We want the axes first because they are the most powerful and the armor next. How is in the old client now? Is all messed up or uh, maybe it's ordered because they are ordered already in the database? Like you have light armor, medium armor, heavy armor in a sequence and so it looks good. But in reality it's pure chance. Because it's just how it is in the database. Huh? I think that's it. Huh? Or do we reorder based on some rules? Because the solution for that is to just to add a column, which is the ordering. And then you just put numbers there and whatever. You decide your order, right? But or just to order alphabetically and that's it which is another option but the ordering is bothering me a bit because if you get for example imagine the ways no no the ways is not a good example but imagine the yeah the, the skills like the combat skills you have the armor like the light medium and heavy armor which are scattered along the list i mean it's we look very bad you know it look very bad. This is the old client. Huh? Be, ca be careful. This is the old client. So agility, charisma, endurance, intelligence, strength, and will, for example, or combat. Like light armor, you see, like light armor is here. Then there is mace. Then there is medium armor. Then there is uh, probably here we are ordering by alphabetically. Yes, here we are ordering alphabetically. So on the client, we are getting all the skills. And then we are ordering those alphabetically. But this means that for magic will be Azure, Blue, Brown, Crystal, Dark, and Black. Which is a bit of a crazy order, right? So it's not ordered by the sequence of the of magic, but okay, it's fine. I mean I think it's okay. You can just reorder by you can just reorder alphabetically. Like we do now. What do you think? I don't know, to me it's okay. Can just reorder alphabetically, and um, so this means that our that our multi map is fine. This means that we can extract any way we want. So without the order, we can just extract any way we want, and then we will take skill by skill, 
order it alphabetically and um, and then display it okay I mean we could order it already alphabetically I mean we could extract here we could we could order by if we order by name it's already done no if we order by no because we have the skill ID we don't have the skill name we have the ability name no we cannot do it this way but we could join the table of the skills and, and order by name and avoid doing it on the client we have the database do it now it's better the database does it one time uh, at the beginning of the server startup yes it is so it does it only one time at the server startup and then all the clients are automatically getting it alphabetically you know maybe it's better but then it means that my multi-map is not working anymore I don't know maybe it's too much of a detail we don't care now about it but I was just reasoning on this right Maybe it's too much of a detail, we can fix it anytime, we can improve it anytime. When we will have a better understanding of the of how the UI, because probably we will change this UI again and again. You know, so this is just the first cut at the UI, is not that it wants to be final, right? So maybe I'm just reasoning on something that is too too detailed. We are comfortable with the actual order, which is an alphabetical order, right? Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So let's just load this data. So we we get this. What I was reasoning is now when we get the data on the client side, we need... So at the moment, what we have? We have a multi-map, which has the category as the ID. And I can now ask for a specific category so for example if I'm in magic I know that my category is what uh, if I'm in magic uh, I should refresh this my category is zero okay, let's make it one magic is one I don't think magic is one I think in our uh, in our schema, let, let's keep the schema. Yeah, we're forking our code, but for now we know it. Um, in our schema, I think is stats, faction, combat, magic. So it would be one, two, three, and four. Let's say the magic is four. Okay. Let's say the magic is four. That's fine. Let's say this is category four for now easy okay so if this is category 4 we want to ask if when we are loading magic which is our case now we want to pass in the category so we want to pass in uh, receive skill ability request skill okay the category ID we already pass it in right perfect so here I receive my category ID. So I need a function here, which is taking yeah the category ID, and is so we need we need a new function. Uh, we need a new public function there. Why do you think is now showing up as a value of cache manager if if is public? Why is not showing up in the list? Is, is IntelliSense that it didn't take it, didn't take it yet, or I'm missing something? Because all of this, let me see if all of this is, is actually public or not. Maybe it's not. Ah, no, it's protected. It's protected. So we have that class as a friendly class, or okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so here we have a get of this thing. So this will be get all abilities by category. You like that? This will be this will be get all abilities by category. So what do we return? Get all abilities by categories. This will return 
uh, we return our T array of uh, our T array of things, right? I mean, it cannot return anything else. It will return our T array of F skill abilities, right? Our T array of F skill ability. Uh, which is basically this table, which is basically this database table filtered by category. So at this point would be all the lines. When we receive all of this, then we will start to split, we will go by skill ID, we will group by skill ID, and we will then extract all the rank for the specific skill ID. Okay. Or, if you want, we could have, yeah, I don't like too much, you know, the fact that we have one single array with all of this in a flat structure, because actually it would be best for us to have it organized by skill ID. So we have an array of, um, you know, an array of array, which is probably the easiest. Or we have another T map, which is then uh, ordered by int. I mean, which is taking an int as, a, as an input because. The best for me will not be to get this, but the best for me will be to get a uh, tmap which has int as the skill and a t array of f skill as a parameter only of the skills that I, yeah, yeah, only the skill of that skill ID. That would be the easiest for me. If it was like this, would be then would be the easiest for uh, parsing it on the client side uh, because because uh, then I will just do what then I will just do uh, for each for each uh, entry in the T map with a specific int. Mm, I will cycle. And I will extract my T array of skill abilities. Then, with that array of skill abilities, I will cycle again. And I will search at that point only the ranks. The ranks I will have to order anyway. By skill rank. And then I will have to display it on the screen. Yeah, this way is a bit easier. If I do it just as a T array of F skill ability, I will have to do all the work of sorting and splitting on the client. Right? I think the data should already be prepared for the client. I mean, I think there is no no sense of doing all the job on the client side for nothing. I think our data should already, should already be prepared in a way that we can parse it easily, right? That we can parse it easily. And the way we want it, come on. Why well, we have so many windows open? And the way we want it, basically is is um, how do we want it The way we want it hmm. I know it doesn't look great, but uh, the way we want it is okay, apart from the ID which we really don't care, 
and apart from the name which goes together with our ID so but okay which goes, goes together with our thingy we want first of all the category ID to be our um, yeah the first thing we want to filter on and in this case we are doing it with a T map based on category ID right then we can ask the category and that's fine so this filter we have and is easy then the second filter that we need uh, we need to filter by skill ID right because we want to get of that particular skill ID all the all the ranks and and then we want this thing well and then we want to have skill rank ordered actually we want we want we want our array to be ordered by by this and then this information can go can go in our array so if i have an array of this i'm fine as long as I, as I can order by skill rank and I think I can order an array quite easily uh, I think there is a tra order something right I can I can I can if it's an int I think is super easy so if I can uh, real engine tra order I guess I can uh, TRA sort and read the TRA sort TRA sort uh, what is TRA sort doing sort the array using a user defined predicate class if your array contains row point it will be automatically referenced during sorting predicate will be referenced reference and found okay so it takes a predicate class. I think I did this already because I remember this but for some time ago. I just have to sort it by the first uh, whatever by the yeah. I will just have to sort it by number, so by the first parameter which would be a number. So I think I have to create a predicate, get that array, find the first element, and then do a greater than, and that's it. Because actually that one is a that one is my structure, you know. So I will have to create a predicate like this. Which are, yeah, something like that. It's exactly like this. Exactly like this. Exactly like this. So I would like to create inside my structure. I don't know if I can do it for my structure, but right. So this will be this will be inside my T array of F string. Sorry, of my array of this uh, F skill. Mm, okay. So I can sort this one. This one is. Mm, If it's an array, because it's an array of skill ability, so I need I need a predicate on skill ability to be able to sort this. And I think personally we should do all of this up front, so it's done once when we load. You know, when we do this cache manager loading, when we do the loading at the beginning, we are filling in our um, our map. Yeah, I think we should do it uh, here. 
we should do it here so here we are adding our map by the way this map I don't like too much this map because this map I think should be yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this one should also be should also be already uh, like this should already be like this why, why, why not right so we should we should have the our map exactly how we will use it should not change it while we are using it exactly so what I was saying is that instead of this I would like to have at this point it's not a multi map anymore because if I go by category is only one right um, but then I want to have it divided by skill ID what I create yeah because I want to have another thing in the middle skill ID I don't care if it's ordered at the moment I don't care if it's ordered well, actually, it would be best because actually the skill ID should also, I mean, it also has skill name they can get from the database, which I can order. Mm, this is becoming more complex than I was thinking, but it's fine. Just because it's a structure in three layers, you know, and this is why it's becoming a bit more complex than I was thinking. I cannot, I cannot just return an array of my abilities where I could, but if I just return an array of my abilities, I will have everything in the wrong order, right? And I don't want to do it on the client side. I want to do it up front on the server side, having the data preferred already the way I want to read it on the client. So that I do zero parsing on the client, so it's kind of instant. Or anyway, as, as quick as possible. As quick as possible. So in theory, what I want is is a t-map of my category ID which is pointing to another structure which can be or another t-map because I need my ID yes I need, it needs to be an a t-map it has to be a t-map so it is a t-map of a t-map actually which we did already in other places, eh? so don't be scared. I mean, we did it already. We have uh, T maps of T maps of T maps of T maps in uh, in uh, crafting. I'm pretty sure the, the thing is is pretty complex, but so which takes an int because it's anyway is again my skill ID, and now finally is getting my T array of skill ability. So I would like to I would like to populate something like. If I populate something like this, pretty simple, I just iterate on my, uh, no, I, I request from the client on the first parameter here, which is this int, and I get as a result this, a tmap of int, and then here I just cycle on all the results of the tmap, I get my array, and on this array I have all my abilities by rank. I have all my abilities by rank and I'm basically done, right? I'm basically done. Okay, let's try it this way. I don't think it's really readable. I mean if you read if you read the T map of T map of TRA, I mean we're getting a bit confused maybe, but we can maybe explain it in uh, in the comments, you know. So this function here that takes the uh, get all ability by category should have int category ID like we said, and then it should be uh, not this but just one T map, right? Just one T map int T array of skill abilities, right? So like this, I think it would work better. What it doesn't like. Spec identifier. Uh, it has to be a TRA pointer.
it has to be a TRA pointer by default. I want to do TMAP is accepting pointers only. Could be, could be. So our function, which we didn't define yet, which is this get something. Is this get all abilities by category? We should uh, uh, get all ability by category. We can put it. We can put it here, just next to our preload. Why not? Okay. What happened? And this one for now will return. Our skill ash ID uh, of get of whatever find ref. I will remember what is the get in the tmap. I think it's get in tmap. Get is find ref. I think it's find ref, right? Uh, let me check what I think is find ref tmap. Tmap delete map ash get key yeah it's find ref for whatever reason so it's finding a reference to a specific key so it's finding the value of the key yeah so find ref I think it's fine uh, of uh, our category ID okay so this one is just returning Skill ability skill ash ID is not valid. Uh, well, actually, it's called uh, what is it called? It's not the right name. It's not the right name. Okay. Is this? Yeah, it's exactly this. Why do why don't like it? Identifier skill ability skill ash is undefined. Hmm. I'm defined because you don't like this declaration. Or you don't like this declaration, huh? The T map of a T map. I cannot put a T map inside another thing. Yes, I can. I did it already. Uh, I think it needs a pointer. I think it needs a pointer too. I think this is to be a pointer and this is to be a pointer. Otherwise, it doesn't like it. Let me check for a second the, the complex T maps that we did in. Uh, I think it was inside still in cache manager is when we are loading so we are loading the patterns. There it is. There it is. It is a T map of a T map of a TRA. You see? <laughs> so this is exactly what we are doing here. So yes, but they have to be pointers, I think. They are not pointers, it's not working. So a T-map of a T-map of a TRA. I don't know if also the TRA needs to, to have a pointer to scalability or can just put it as a... Okay, pointer point. It's compiling anyway now. So let's see. Scalability is undefined. Ah, yes, I know it's undefined. Because I didn't place cache manager here. So it doesn't know that this method is inside cache manager. That's why. Uh, so, but the way we want, so if we do it this way, we want to do this this code. We want to have this code done differently, right? Um, So, uh, okay. I hope I can, I hope I can pass to the client this through RPC. I, I hope I can pass to, to the client this thing. Because, okay, scalability is a U object, TRA is a U object, and TMAP is a U object, so it should be fine. I just don't know if this is messing up, you know. 
if he's messing up the, the code going back. Okay, so um, now we have to load it the way we want it. Okay, we have to load it the way we want. So when we are loading this, we want to extract. We want to extract all the data. And then we want to create uh, different tmaps array based on based on the ID no based on the category ID right so here I think we can use it we can start to use, we can use the ordering again then if we do it up front right so we can order by category ID uh, skill ID and then skill rank so if we do it like this we can easily we can easily um, cycle through all the rows as soon as category ID changes we create a new array sorry we create a new tmap and then when skill ID changes we create a new tRI so we can load it load it up properly so we can say we can store the category ID which is the current category ID so let's say current category which at the beginning will be minus one okay then we will do something like if result row skill category ID I don't want to see this PS skill cast why why we need this there's no need of casting to PS skill at all uh, if this is equal to the current category no sorry it's different than the current category um, so if it's different then we create a new tmap and we store the previous tmap in our uh, uh, in our father tmap okay? so this will be this thing Uh, this thing so we do something like tmap um, tmap let's call it category right or we can just call it tmap category something like this or yeah category is fine category is fine so category so we put everything inside of this so how, how do we load it we load it with um, so team having skill ability so we want to create a new of this I just do this okay. so I want to create a new of this one and and if it's new then I want to start to cycle and add new elements to it and I want so I want to can, can I remove this if because anyway it just is not needed and it's just confusing me okay so for each of the row, if the category is different from the current category, I clean up the category and I create a new one. Okay, fine. Then we need to also check if the same for skill ID. Eh? The same for skill ID. So if skill ID is different than the current skill ID. If 
is different than the current skill. I don't know if there is a better way to do this, to do what I'm doing, but I think this way will work anyway, so I think it's fine. I don't know if there is a simpler way to split a table with multiple indexes into T maps and arrays, but at the moment it is what I'm thinking. So maybe there is an easier way. If you have an idea, if you if you understand what I'm doing and if you have an idea, let me know. But this is what I'm trying what I think that is the solution I think is doable. So in this case, uh, we will create a new category. In this case would be a T no a new this case would be like this, right? TRI skill ability, and this would be called uh, just uh, skills. This would be a new array, right? And then inside the array, well, all of this has to be pointers, anyway, otherwise it wouldn't work. But anyway, let, let's try to write down the logic, and then I will fix the pointer thing. Because this way it has to be a new and the previous one has to be assigned and whatever, but it's fine. Um, so, and here in our, so here we finally read the data. We finally read the data. We put it into our skill ability, right? We put it there. We load all the data. And then what do we do? Uh, then we want to take, well, first of all, we add the skill to the, to the array. That's fine. So we do uh, skills, please. Why oh, doesn't like it? It's not. It's not a pointer. Right? Do you want me to do like this? Skills of no. I want to add a new element. Isn't there something like TRA add? Yeah, there is TRA add. So what's the matter? It has to be a pointer. I think all of this has to be a pointer anyway, so... But why I couldn't do it the other way? Why I couldn't do just without the without the pointer thingy? Why I couldn't I couldn't do it that way? I don't know. Anyway, uh, so here I add into this my new skill, right? So I have my new skill loaded now. Now I have my skill loaded. Now, uh, the problem I have is that when this is completed, so when actually the skill is uh, different, right? When the skill is different, we will have to put my variable into something else into the T map so 
So I will have to put my ski. So here I will have to do. Uh, I will have to put my skills into my category. Why is always complaining about this and wants me to add a pointer at any cost? Cannot do it on... Cannot do it. I'll do it okay so I want to add in my T map my skill ID um, wait a second my so here I have an array and a skill so there is actually yes I want to add my skill ID, so this thing. No, no, I want to add the current skill. And what I have inside skills, right? And then I want to create a new um, right. And then I want to create. So I add this to my uh, array. And then I create a new one that will get populated in the next cycle. Right? That is what I want to do. Right. And then I want to do the same. And then I want to do the same. Uh, why say the new skill is not defined? What the hell? Define D, so. I think it's messing up. Maybe there's some parentheses that I didn't close or something. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so and then in the and then I have to do exactly the same with my category ID here. Exactly the same. When I arrive here, all of this. All of this should go up here, and my category and my category. So I will have to assign. I will have to assign to my former T map, which is this thing. To this thing, I will have to add the current category and my thingy and then I assign a, a create a new team app and I cycle again now this line is not needed anymore I think I'm missing some 
parentheses or some some closing no wait wait okay why it doesn't like it so the four is closed uh, missing Ah, what is this? I have too many. Ah, yes, because sorry, I didn't open. Uh, I didn't open here. I didn't open here. Okay. Okay. Now, now is okay. Now is okay. I'm still trying to understand why it says the new skill. It doesn't like new skill. But Yeah, we are a bit deep into this uh, code. Uh, I understand it's not the most fun thing to watch, but uh, hmm. something we have to do to load our data properly. Okay, I missed some parentheses big time. Now the only problem is that as I wrote the code now, um, as I wrote the code now, unfortunately, um, the first T map, the first T map minus one will be, be added anyway. And because it's obviously different from the first line, right? Because I placed minus one and minus one and I compared it to the current category, which is obviously different. Uh, I could assign it immediately. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. It's probably a better idea. Right? So I just assigned the category, the current category to uh, this line. So I assign. How do I do it? I'm cycling here. I'm having this four cycling. Uh, the first thing I have to do is if I assign the category to this and the skill to this, as soon as I enter, no, if I do it as soon as I enter, then it will never work because it will always be the same, so I will never change. Um, if I assign it at the bottom, if I assign it at the bottom, because I want to do the check if it's different, right? And see if the previous category, so if the category ID is changing, if it's because I'm ordering by category ID, so I have, I have them all listed in the right right way. Um, if the category ID is changing, if the category ID is changing compared to the current one, but the current one is minus one, so I can do unless it's minus one. Yes, I think I can do unless it's minus one, and we solve the problem. So if I do and category ID different than minus one, right? So I have to, it has to be different than the first cycle. So if, if it's not in the first cycle, and the category is different, so I think I should anyway initialize these things. Otherwise, I will get probably the third. Yeah, otherwise, it will not work. Right? Right. I don't know, the code seems a bit complex, but it uh, should be fine. I mean, just because it's a structure inside another structure, which it looks a bit weird, but 
it shouldn't be an issue. I hope when I move this thing to blueprints, it's not fucking up with me. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if we have to redo it all. Um, so basically what we are doing, we are initializing this things to new structures, okay? Categories and skills. Then we are going inside this four cycle, which is taking one of each of our lines in the database. He's checking if the current uh, category ID is different from the previous one, except the fact if it's the first cycle. If it's the first cycle, um, if it's the first cycle, no, but this way it doesn't work either because. Uh, no, no, let's do another way. Let's do that. If it's the first cycle, if category ID is equal to minus one, then I assign those two to category ID. And that's it. No? Uh, I just want to skip the first cycle. I mean, I just want to avoid then in the first cycle is doing these two lines. Okay? Because in the first cycle should actually go, oh by the way, this code is completely fucked up. So it should be like this. Okay, yeah, that's a bit better. Um, so if it's the first cycle, it should go here. Yeah, yeah, then it's correct. So if, it, if it's uh, different and not the first cycle, okay, and not the first cycle, it goes here. It goes here and it checks if again is not the first skill ID and it's not the first cycle or is equal. Okay, and it goes here. So the first line you will get, you will do this, you will add this new line to our skills. Perfect. Then it will cycle again, the category will be the same. Uh, the skill ID, let's imagine for a second, will be the same, so we'll add a new one, a new skill ability to our array, and we'll do it like one, two, three, four times. Then we'll come here, the skill ID will change, and so it will take what it did up to now, and it will add it to the to the category. Now, should it take the previous? Yes, the previous, huh? Yeah, it's always the previous. The previous and put in the skills and then it creates a new array which you can use now again. Uh, yes, but... Yes, but then it should also execute this, huh? When he creates the new array, he should not skip one line. When he creates the new array, he should also execute this piece. Alright, so probably this thing should be the opposite, or this should be the opposite, in the sense that... Yeah, I want to execute this piece of code anyway. Right. I want to execute this piece of code anyway, just with the difference, yeah, yeah, I want to execute it anyway. So this else actually is not correct. I want to execute this space here. I just want to skip this line. If the current skill is changing. I want to do that and then populate the first line. Yes. And it's not the first skill. It's not the first round. Yes. Yes. I don't know why I had this else really. I, I don't I don't know why I added this else. 
This else makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why I indented that. So, because you always have, for each line anyway, we need to create one object. For each line we need to create a new object. The only difference is that when we are not in the first cycle and the category is def different, he has to create a new thing. Okay. Let me see if this compiles. And if this compiles, we will just do a, do a, a quick check of what the hell is this loading and to see if this is loading something reasonable or not hmm. it built boys it built okay it built so actually then the query i think our query here should be extended to then sort by skill name right we should join with the skills uh, table and sort by name. Uh, we can do that later. I mean, I don't want to add too much stuff now. So this thing compiles. It's pretty incredible. So if it compiles, I think we can give it a go and see if we get a reasonable structure. How many editors we have open? A lot. Okay. I understand. I just want to compile clean without. Uh... So we can put a breakpoint here and see what happens if we get a proper structure. If we get a proper structure, then the next step will be to see if we can pass really this T map of T map of T map of whatever of TRA to uh, as a result of an RPC call, and that will not be garbage, but will be good stuff, you know. I hope I can manipulate T map from blueprints, right? I really hope. I'm not sure because I never did it. I think in the past, right? I don't think I ever did it. Um, uh, real engine T map in blueprints. T map for blueprints. Yes. Is it so? Here, question T maps in blueprint. We're asking to make a new thread if this was needed in 2014. The thread. Is the first Google it? I don't know if it is something more current. Basically, asking for implementation of this in general for blueprint. There's many. Until unless the map is implementing the PU, we can make a PU place class to the PU and set them. Oh my god, it's not in blueprints? We don't have T-maps in blueprints. Are you joking? Ah! If we don't have T-maps in blueprints, means that we will have to... Did it start or not? I don't understand what it did. Did it start or not? Or it just crashed somehow? Yeah, we have to build the DLLs, okay. But since the T-maps are not available in blueprints, I'm a bit concerned about this. Because if T-maps are not available in blueprints, we have to change our implementation. Ah, 
I mean, we can expose two methods to, we can expose it our way, right? We can expose a few methods ourselves. I mean, it's not a problem. We just have to search and... But for example, the for loop, I would like to have it in the blueprints. Uh, uh, I mean, if you cannot cycle on the content of a T-map in blueprints, it's pretty bad. Let me ask these guys. Let me ask the Unreal guys if they have any idea. Uh, Discord. In Discord. Uh, Hmm, okay, let's see what it does anyway, but I think we probably have to change it to something else, but just for fun, let's see what it does. So, category is minus one, skill minus one, it's creating a new of this, creating a new of this, uh, it's cycling for all the rows, it's checking if my category ID, so the first time you should enter, no, you should skip this, right, it will skip it, it will skip this as well, okay, fine. Because our current skill is minus one, then it adds the first ability, it populates it, it adds it to the skill. So inside the skills, now we have one element, yes, which is this one ID one, crystal realm two, category four, perfect, exactly what we needed. Okay, nice. Then the second time we cycle again, the category should be the same, uh, the skill should be the same, and so we add another skill. Yeah, I think it works. Let me see if he ever changes. After four cycles, you should change the skill ID. Here you should change the skill ID and go to this line, I think. It didn't. Uh, oh, fuck, I never assigned current skill. <laughs> okay. Boys, tell me when I'm doing something stupid. Okay, I never assigned current skills anyway, so, and current category anyway, so. Um, we should assign here current category after we do the thingy current category equal to this and here we should do current skill equal to this anyway if tmap are not working we can change it to maybe a TRA I don't know to what we can change it because we need the ID anyway, so we need the ID. Hmm. I think it looked cool, but it's probably not working. I mean, it's probably not available in blueprints. The thing I did is not available in blueprints. I wanted to manipulate it in the blueprints. Uh, or we can... Can we do it... Can we... Can we manipulate it all on the server side and just send to the client uh, some pre parse the stuff? Uh, well, the first team app we don't need because we use it only server side but the second team map we do so all we do five arrays we could also do five arrays but I mean it's not parametric enough it's a bit annoying it's a bit annoying it is not parametric no. it's so the first four times it should go let me just check if my current skill now is 
And it's always minus one. No, current scale, sorry, current scale we should not do it here. Current scale we should do it. Uh, we should do it down there, not here. Should do it down here. As soon as we add the first skill, as soon as we add the first skill, we can set the category of that skill and the current skill. Yes. Yes. Can I manipulate T maps? That's annoying. It's very annoying. Okay, guys, I think I have to. I have to go. Yes, I think I have to go to dinner, so I will end the stream here and um, just a second because someone is calling me. I have to call back. Okay, so I, I think I will end the stream here and. I will see you, I think later tonight not, but probably tomorrow evening, okay, and I will try to sort these out, maybe uh, before our stream, like between 8 and 9 tomorrow, okay in the in the evening, so that when I start the stream, uh, you will have already a solution for this, so we can continue after this point, okay which I think is better okay, with that said I think we can call it a day. I will see you very, very soon. So don't worry. I will be here sooner or later.